Welcome back. You're live with Expresso. Thank you so much for tuning in for an inspirational Thursday morning. And why do I say inspirational? Because we're going to introduce you to two incredibly mm. inspiring young talents. Both Alexandra Sampson and Bjorn Capito had decided to take a break, in fact, from competitive uh, flaws um, in the world of Latin and Borum to focus on their studies, uh, very wise, which resulted in them coming back now with a bang. This dynamic duo has only been dancing together for five months and they've already won their first South African under-21 Latin title. They were announced as the South African Championship uh, champions rather just two weeks ago. Ladies and gentlemen, can we give a round of applause to our young... Thank you. Thank you. It, must, it must never get old hearing that, eh? You're the champions. You're the best. That's awesome. Oh, Welcome, yeah. guys. You guys look beautiful, by the way. Let me just start with yeah. that, though. But take us through the experience. Like, champions, how does it feel? What does it feel like? Um, it's... It's an amazing experience. Like, uh, we've obviously worked extremely hard to get to this point because, like, we put in a lot of practices mm -hmm. up until this point. But, like, it's an amazing experience to, get, um, to have achieved that. Absolutely. I um, also took the under 21s, Bjorn. You, you obviously, you, you say you put in a lot of practice, but I think for, and I've obviously had the, you know, having a, a very special dancer in my own life and having this front row seat to watching. Incredible dancers like you literally grow up in front of me is, is amazing to me, but I see what goes on behind the scenes, the hours of, of training. What goes into the difference now between good and championship winning? How much do you have to train and what do you think has allowed you to, to become champions? I think that uh, for the two of us, uh, we put in a lot of personal practices. So there was a lot of practices where it was just uh, an I, no coach, no, uh, no other couples dancing with us, just two of us. The sweat. Yeah, sweat just hard and tears, work yeah. and sweat. Uh, in like three hour shifts in the week of the essays, we saw each other almost every day. Mm -hmm. And in that time, we saw each other for minimum three hours. Are you, sick? Are you sick of each other yet? Yeah, no, I saw a lot of you. Uh -huh. <laughs> but you must have to have that chemistry, that click. Mm. Are there yeah. days where it's really difficult to find the emotional connection? Because the physicality will take you so far, but mm. especially in Latin, it's about the passion and it's about yeah. the emotion that you, yeah. that you get. How do you take yourself to that place to get that performance right? Well, obviously it takes like a lot of practice and we have to like form a personal bond between the two of us. Mm. We have to um, form like a friendship at first and then that helped us to actually have that emotion while we are dancing. Mm -hmm. Now you talk a lot about practicing and making it perfect, but what do you get like down to in your spare time? Do you like have <laughs> hobbies besides dancing together and creating that bond? <laughs> well, like I enjoy maybe watching movies and reading, like that is something I do in my spare time. Mm -hmm. What about you, Bjorn? Uh, I don't have any spare time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no. in my spare time I try and work, so... Because I'm a student as well. Okay. So, Got to hustle, yeah. Uh, the only free time I have is to work. What so, are you studying? Uh, I'm studying dance education. Oh, oh that's brilliant, amazing. man. Uh, it's such an amazing developmental tool. And I, you know, I, I joke about watching you guys grow up, but I've, I've literally watched you guys, you know, so many of the most talented young dancers go from juvenile through to, to where you are. Now, what's the, what's the end game here? Where do you want to take it from here? Do you want to go pro? Do you want to go global? What, what's the next kind of evolution for championship winning dancers of, of, at your stage? Well, for me, um, I'm, well, I'm not really thinking of being professional like, at the moment. I more want to like, go overseas and compete internationally and hopefully like, gain experience that way from other international dancers and maybe coaches also. And you, Bjorn, what's the, um, what's the overall goal? As she said, obviously, uh, to dance internationally is like mind-blowing experiences. Blackpool, uh, baby, of. Blackpool, yes. come on. <laughs> uh, but then also to give back and start coaching would yeah. be really good because uh, there's a lot of talent that people don't see. Yeah. And if I could be the person to bring it to the forefront, then Absolutely. why not? Absolutely. Is there any South African dancers that stand out for you that is like, one day I'm going to be like that person or like that girl, someone? Um, I think... Um, Right now, Utile Mbasu, I think Oti, it's yes, Mabuse, yes. yes, from BBC Strictly. Uh, I think she just won a second won. Uh, yeah. cup this year, so... Oh, that's amazing. That's awesome. What about <sighs> you, Alexandra? 
No, nobody really. You like, are your situation. Yeah, she's you the are best. the best. She's she's the, she's the best time. <laughs> now, you, you guys are on the right trajectory. Just, just keep staying humble and, and keep practicing for three to five hours every day, <laughs> and you might just get there. Um, no, it's an incredible developmental tool, dance, not just for the, the body, but I think um, for the character as well as these two young, incredible championship winning dancers are proving. But we're going to get to see them do what they do best, and that's, of course, dance. And just for you, and just a little bit later.